Okay, um, just wanted to show you guys very quickly um, how I do my elevator and aileron mixing with my home build flying wing here that I've got. I use the same as the, um, well you've got the AR500 Spectrum receiver and I've got the DX5E um, transmitter here. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how I set it up. And it and it working. Um, like I say, this wing is a home build um, that I built with a friend. Um, it's got no motor on it, so it's just literally it works for slope soaring. Really a bit like the Zaggy flying wing, however uh, this one's slightly larger. Um, here's my cause there park zone. So what I'll do is take this off, take out my spectrum receiver, which I've got here. Now, well, you can see that in this light, uh, it's the AR500 spectrum receiver. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and show you. I've got, I've got basically a servo built in there, control rod to the control surface, um, and the same this side. So, if I flip it over, what I've got here. Is I've got a hole here which I've melted into the foam, which is where my receiver goes, and I've got a little battery pack here. I'll just show you, it's just a normal square battery pack for char chargeable double A's. So I'll leave that out there for a second. Right, so what I do is this wire run along to my right. As so you can see, what all I've done is I've plugged in my three pin servo plugs. One's gone to my ailerons, and the other one's gone to elevator. Um, which, is if you're looking at it from the bottom, you've got battery bind, throttle, aileron, and elevator. So I've used them two, which is just here. So, what I'll do now is I'll switch on the DX5 like that, and then what I'll do is I'll plug in the battery. That just goes in there. See the uh, spectrum's now on. It just closes down like that. Right, so with that plugged in as it is, if I try to make all this work, it's just going to do its own thing. So what I need to do on the uh, transmitter is on the right here, you might not be able to see it, but if you've got your own one at home, you'll see where I'm coming from. So I'm facing the transmitter. On the right here, I've got mixing. So what I do is I push mixing up all the way. I, re I reverse my elevator up, and I also reverse reverse my ailerons down. Okay, so that's mixing up, elevator up, ailerons down. Beforehand, this was set up for my Corsair, so it's a completely different setup. Okay, you've got to remember that because if you go on to put it back into the cores there, you're going to crash it if you forget to put all this round. So, mixer up, elevator up, ailerons down. What that now gives me I'll put that into here. Because if I go up, up, left, right, down, and a full range of movements. So if I'm going up, it's hard, it's going to be hard to show you this guys, it's just going to be up, down, left, right. So up, down, left, right, and then also, just by doing that, it adjusts it how it needs to. Now for your one that you're building, your pizza box flyer, 
obviously you can have your motor on the front but that's not going to affect this so basically if you did the two system set up at the back it can be done with the AR500 and the Spectrum DX5 hope this helps